what up everybody so I get so many comments on my videos about the E chord and I understand why honestly <laughs> so in this video I am going to give you some alternative chords and some tips and tricks to mastering the E chord let's go so the OG the original E chord is first string second fret third string fourth fret and fourth string first fret okay but that's a little difficult to get into in a song where you have a bunch of chords. So, some alternatives are 2nd fret 1st string and 4th fret on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings so you'll get this sound. Okay? Another alternative would be bar the 4th fret with your 1st finger and then put your pinky finger on the 7th fret on the first string, okay? So it'll sound like this. It's just an octave higher. You could also do first string, second fret, third and fourth string on the fourth fret, okay? So your second string will be open. I'll get you this sound. So now you have all of the alternate chords that you could play. So you could play, mess around with those, see which one works for you for right now. Another little piece of advice I would give is make sure that this hand is just hitting the notes that it needs to on the board. So, for example, the E chord, if you have your hand like this, it's going to muddle the sound. But if you pop it out like this and make sure that every note is being hit exactly right on the dot on the fretboard, it's going to really clear up the sound and make it sound a lot nicer. So, Really though, my last piece of advice would be to just practice. Practice every day. Get your finger in that E chord shape every single day. A little bit every day. Just practice getting it in that shape. Once it gets in that shape and once your hand is used to that shape, it'll come like second nature. Changing from chords, it won't even, you won't even think about it, okay? But yeah, just take it slow at first. Change a little bit maybe, and then try to get it again. Maybe go to the G chord, and then try to like figure it out again. Because once your hand gets used to it, girl, it'll be easy. <laughs> and special little side note, I have really short and stubby hands, so if I can do it, you can do it. I believe in you. Special shout out to Tan, who made this channel color-coded chord sheets. Oh my goodness, you're awesome. Thank you so much, and if you like this video, or if it helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I make ukulele tutorials, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.